send that message, make that phone call, be that friend. Welcome back to another video. My name is Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now this message and this video is all about Mental Health Awareness Day. Now it's, it's World Mental Health Awareness Day today on Thursday the 10th of October. And I want you to understand that people may be winning, people may be doing, they might not be winning. Either way, never judge someone on how they look on the outside. Someone could be smiling but hurting inside. Someone could be crying but not feeling as bad because they just maybe don't know how to, co to, to cope. We have a choice how we feel. But sometimes we don't know how to make that choice. Sometimes we don't know how to control our emotions. Sometimes we just don't know. And it's okay not to know. You don't need to be married at 30, have a house, have kids, have a car, go on a holiday every year. It's perfectly fine if you're not. You don't need to have your life figured out by age 40. Not everyone does. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter what's gone on in your life. All that matters is you're here now and you're bettering yourself. 1% better than you were yesterday. 0.1% better. All that matters is you're getting better than you. You're not getting better than your neighbor. You're not getting better than your friend. You're not getting better than your mum. You're not getting better than your sister. You're getting 1% better than you were yesterday. Be the best version of yourself you can possibly, possibly be. And please, please, please send that message to someone. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Tell them how much you're there for them. Tell them if they ever need anything to reach out to you. Sometimes it doesn't just take one try. It takes two. It takes three. It takes four. Sometimes maybe more. I don't know how many it's going to take. But be the person. Be the friend that's there for them. Be the sibling that's there for them. If there's anything going on in their life, you might not see it, but you can still reach out and say how much you appreciate them, how awesome they are, how amazing they are. Everyone's life matters. Your life matters. If you're watching this, your life matters. Even if you're not watching this, your life matters. So you, you can't hear that, but you get the point. Be the best version that you can be. Don't worry about what other people say about you. Worry about how you value yourself. And if you're struggling to value yourself, it's all internal. The inner work, that's what counts first. I speak to a lot of people and I will always say this forever for the rest of my life. I try to do the external work. I try to make money. I try to look, get as best shape as possible. I tried to get the relationships. I didn't get any of them, <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't because I needed to do the inner work first. And some people get to age 40, 45, and they still haven't done the inner work. They've got all the external, the material success. They've got, they've got fame. They've got this, they've got that but they don't realize that that's the, the time it brings pain because they've got so much time on their hands. When they reach a level of success, yes, you can be very successful, but you can still be hurting inside. If you do the inner work first, you no longer need anything external. I don't need anything external. I don't need for anything external at all. Will I have it when I've got it? I 100% and I know I will. And I'm not worried about that because I know I will, but I don't need it. Is something that is a bonus to my happiness. My happiness is my happiness. I choose to be happy. I created my happiness. It came from within. And I've put a lot of posts on Instagram recently about how happiness starts from within. And in World Mental Health Day, this is the biggest key that I can say to absolutely everyone. It doesn't matter how someone values you. It doesn't matter how what's going on in your world. All that matters is that you need to learn to value yourself. And no, this isn't easy. Does it take time? It does take time. Is it worth it in the long run? 100%. It doesn't mean you have to start telling yourself how much you love yourself every single day. It's starting small, doing little things for yourself, doing the small disciplines. You don't need to discipline yourself to be Olympic swimmer type training regime, eating regime. The time they wake up in the mornings, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is work out who you were yesterday or who you are today. Write down a plan of who you want to be tomorrow. And is that the person that gets up 20 minutes earlier to meditate? It possibly could be. Is it the person who speaks to their family and explains where they are right now? It, it could be. And it could be absolutely anything. And it could be very, very small or it could be very, very big. It doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that you're getting better than you were yesterday. And if you're watching this video and you're the person 
that is struggling for mental health. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to turn to. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to, which a piece of advice to listen to. Please just take this one piece of advice. No one will ever judge you for what you're going through. And if they do, they're hurting. They're not, no one truly happy will ever hurt you intentionally. Your family will respect you. Your friends will respect you. And like I say, even if they don't, that's their problem. Find people who do respect you. Get around people who respect you and want to help you. If someone doesn't want to help you, they're clearly not your friend. If someone does want to help you, they clearly are your friend. They clearly are someone who should be in your life and should stay in your life. So reach out to them. If you're really struggling, just reach out to them and just say, can I have a chat? You don't understand how great you'll feel just after getting a few things off your chest. Just explaining where you are, explaining what you want and explaining that you don't know what to do. Because the first thing we need to do in anything is admit where we are. The second stage is get clarity on who we are. The third stage is write a little plan that we need in order to get to where we want to be. And the fourth stage is just take action on that plan every single day. And like I said, it doesn't have to be big. It can be the tiny little steps. And one of my favorite quotes is, I've actually got it on my wall from Martin Luther King, you don't have to see the whole staircase in order to take the first step. And that's very true. You can't physically put a roof on a house without building the walls. And you can't physically build a wall without putting number, the brick number one down. So start with brick number one. Start with stair number one. Start with video number one. Start with speaking to one person. Then you can get the long-term outcome. Nothing worth it is easy to get and nothing easy to get is truly worth it so understand your worth understand who you are understand that i appreciate you i love you especially if you're watching this video you're amazing you're awesome you're a star you're a light just keep doing you keep being you keep being the best version of yourself there's a purpose and a reason why you're here so have an absolutely amazing day Keep on smiling, keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness, keep spreading positivity and keep being a light in this universe. Keep being a light in this world.